J.D. Vance has a storied history when it comes to his hatred of certain women. You see, for example, this one here, posted by the Kamala campaign, where they say J.D. Vance does not couch his hatred for women. This was posted September 14th, 2021. An example of how I keep saying there's constant, constant controversies with this man. This is three days after the September 11th, where he posted photographs on his Twitter that show him standing next to a swastika and a Confederate flag. Three days is how far we get before this tweet. But J.D. Vance does respond to this because he doesn't like being told he hates women. And he responds by repeating that he hates women. You can find plenty of examples of that where he continues on and on and on and really just digs that hole. But you might think that that's going to be different for his wife. And I'm going to argue it isn't. Something worth mentioning is that J.D. Vance is also not popular on the far-right racists. Um, they are constantly attacking him, his wife, and his children because his wife is not white and his children are mixed race. But you see, while J.D. Vance gets angry when people point out his sexism and then, of course, dig deeper into his sexism, he cannot stop complaining that his sexism gets coverage. What he isn't doing is defending his wife and children from the white supremacist attacks. I guess they are just too much of Trump's base. Uh, very Ted Cruz vibes when he does respond. Let me let me read you a quote that I wrote out, and I'll have a link to this actual tidbit in the linked comment, the pinned comment, if you'd like to see it. Obviously, she's not a white person. We have been accused, attacked by some white supremacists over that bit. I just, I love Usha. She is such a good mom. Again, there'll be a link to that in the pinned comments. Wow! So, he can go on television all this time and like, no, I don't hate women, I just don't like this subset of women or whatever he's trying to do. He can do that. He has all the time in the world to do that. But instead of coming up with like a condemnation of the racism and hate and making a stance against the racism and hate, at least if for nothing else for his wife's sake, instead, when it comes to his wife and he finally addresses all the hate, it's basically... She might not be white, but I love her anyway. He... He has nothing. There's no, like, morals to this guy. Anything, he will mold himself to match whatever will make him profitable. You can go and find countless friends and people who knew him. His policies shifted the moment he wanted to become a Republican. And then, when he wanted to be a MAGA Republican, he shifted all of the policies and personal opinions again. And now, I guess he doesn't care if his wife is under attack, constantly being shit on by racists. That doesn't matter. He needs those racists. They are his voters now. 